What is up everyone, Stefan here from TechRite, and today we are going to be unboxing the ZTE Overture 3. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, as you see, there's a huge rip in the side of the box. That is because I actually bought this straight from eBay from a seller. So that's my fault. Uh, the package is probably opened already, but whatever, I didn't see. Just picked up this phone off of eBay. Now this is for Cricut Wireless, uh, and we're going to go ahead and unbox this. But first, let's take a look at the back of the specifications. Now it says we have a 5 inch FWVGA screen, which is 480p if you guys don't know already, uh, with scratch resistant glass for added protection, uh, quad core processing power, and 4G LTE speeds. We have a 5 megapixel camera on the rear with LED flash, as well as a 2 megapixel front camera. And uh, you have HD video as well on the front camera. So we also have HD voice for crystal clear conversations, and uh, that seems to be it. Okay, so the phone is at the top, so we have the phone right here. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. We also have the wall charger right here. We also have a 2035 milliamp battery. Pretty low, but uh, still decent. We have the wall charger, which is micro USB, the SIM card, and some literature, which is basically the startup guide in English and Spanish, and some other stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take this phone out of the baggie. And wow, I like the color on the back. It's kind of like a, uh, you know, kind of like a crystal blue. It's it's weird. Really nice blue on the back, though. Kind of shiny, uh, but looks nice. I like the pattern as well. Looks like they're diamond shaped. Let's go ahead and take off the screen protector. Now, we, we have the front-facing camera right here. We have a headset at the top to the left of it. And we also have, it looks to be our sensor. Now, on the screen, we have a 5-inch screen. Now, this is going to be 480p. Hopefully, the viewing angles are good. Usually, on these 480p WVGA screens, the viewing angles are not always excellent. But uh, we'll see what happens here. We also have our capacitive touch buttons at the bottom, which is nice to see. Going to the right side of the phone, we have our power button. Going to the left side of our phone, we have a spaced volume up and down button. Now, uh, I like that they do a or put a huge space or indent in between uh, volume buttons. That's one of my pet peeves is when there's just one long panel along it. Because when you're in the dark and you press on it, you know, you want that space in between there to, you know, signal that, hey, this is up and this is down. So I really like that they have this on here. Going to the top of the phone, we have a noise canceling mic as well as a 3.5 millimeter head jack. Bottom of the phone, we have our micro USB input and we have another noise canceling mic. Back of the phone, we have our rear shooter and our flash as well as a cricket emblem. And we have a ZT emblem right there. And we have our speaker right here. Uh, three little dots opening. Hopefully the speaker is better than I think it will be, but I'm not 100% sure about it so far. Uh, we also have this really, really nice back. Uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. I think it looks better definitely in person, uh, but nice texture as well. We also have a removable back. Now we can go ahead and put our SIM card right there and you can also expand the memory it looks like right here. Now the battery doesn't look absolutely amazing at 235 2035 milliamps uh, but this is only a 5 inch screen and we have a 480p screen as well so it's uh, it might be a decent battery honestly. Now that we pop the back on let's go ahead and turn this phone on. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up and then I will skip to me using it and give you a quick synopsis on what I think about it. So a very quick synopsis on this phone. Now if we go ahead and go to our settings, we're going to go ahead and see that we actually do have Android 7.1.1 right here. So that is nice to see that we have the newest uh, Android on this phone for Nougat. And uh, you know the camera that I've been looking at on here, the rear facing camera is actually pretty darn good. Um, I thought it was going to be way worse than this, but it takes pretty nice pictures to say the least honestly uh, if you guys want to take a look at this right here pretty nice colors I thought it was gonna be more washed out yeah, I thought it was gonna be way more washed out so the screen actually looks very nice as well for 480p uh, you wouldn't think it would look nice but it has very vibrant colors now if you go like this if you uh, tilt it like this, this is the only way you're going to wash out the colors so I, I don't really think you're going to wash out the colors right there now other than that it has really good viewing angles if you see right there great viewing angles that's the only way that's gonna have bad viewing angles but most people are gonna either go like that or that or straight head on the screen uh, other than that 
that's the only way you're gonna wash out the screen also I like the body and I like the back of the phone I do agree with the color colors color is very nice honestly I love the pattern as well and I love how it feels in my hand we have a five inch phone right here and yeah it's it's, it's honestly decent for so far very very decent but definitely stay tuned if you guys want me to review this also go ahead and subscribe to the tech right channel if you guys are not a part of the tech right fam already i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my unboxing hope you're having an amazing day as well this has been stefan from tech right peace out